So I'm gonna go get tea for Tammy and I this morning. We're going to a funeral. A good friend of ours, uh, her husband passed away, so we're gonna go spend some time with her. Ooh, I almost forgot. I've got UPS coming to pick up a box that I need to ship. Gotta get that packaged up and out to the front door. Tinkerbell. The squirrel mocks her every single day. Comes, sits on this tree and stares at her in the window. See? It's a standoff. Go get him, Tink. Tink, you'll get him next time. Hey? You'll get him next time. <laughs> Okay guys, we are on our way to the funeral and uh, you know, I was thinking we're always so busy with our own lives, we kind of don't really think about other people much, hey? We just, we run around, we do our own thing and meanwhile, other people are being born, some are dying, some have died, some have lost people. So that's part of the reason I'm doing this is just to perpetuate something good, something that we think is really good, sharing the happiness and joy that we have with our family in the midst of everything that's happening in everybody else's lives. You know, some people are are battling cancer, some people have kids that are sick. There's a whole bunch of situations in the world that I think we can make better in some small way. Even if we can't fix it or cure it, I think we can contribute to making the lives easier for those involved instead of making it worse. And from the stuff I'm reading online, it seems like a lot of people are quite happy to make it worse. And I don't, I don't understand that. I don't get it. It's not, it's not the way uh, I think any of us want the world to be. And it's in our hands to make it better. I've stopped reading a lot of that stuff. You online. stopped, yeah, 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 because it's so negative, right? Yeah, it doesn't. I mean, just you're just fueling them, right, by reading it. Yeah. And, yep. So. so we're uh, just going to take. Um, Take a little bit of time we're gonna go to this funeral and then it's uh, back to work for me and you know back to our lives I remember when uh, when my dad passed away I just it was so hard to understand this was now five years ago and then my grandma passed away I think a year after but it was not even, not even yeah it was so hard to, to to grapple or to understand that my world has stopped like it's completely stopped it's just being decimated and yet people are driving their cars and they're making it was so hard to get over that when you've lost so much to see that everything around you goes around as though well they don't know I mean it's not that it doesn't yeah. matter it's just that they don't know and they have to live their lives and we're all living them in different different states we're all at different positions so yeah deep stuff yes yes we'll probably have uh, some time left for some Something to eat something quick. and something quick, and then we'll head home. Yeah. I'm gonna do laundry because my dryer's fixed. Kind of. Yay! Yay! I'm going through a lot of laundry. Hey guys, it's uh. It's about 4.20. I'm just about done my day here, but uh, I'm going to set up the camera. I want to give you an idea what uh, kind of havoc Hatchimals are causing in people's lives. If you want to throw some havoc into somebody's life that you know, Hatchimal is the way to go. Check this out. All right. So there's Lissa. What's your Hatchimal's name? I haven't named it yet. You haven't named it yet? And what's your Hatchimal's name? Moonlight. Moonlight. Because its stomach looks like a moon. Check here, check this out. How do I make it record? Just press this button? Yeah. Watch this guys. I love Mick TV. I love Mick TV. <laughs> <laughs> they're not that uh, they're not that bad actually.
Samantha? Uh-huh. Do you like Mick TV? Uh-huh. Do you like Mick TV? Uh-huh. Do you like Dad? Uh-huh. <laughs> Do you uh-huh. I make it from Mick TV, huh? I make it from Mick TV, huh? Oh, our day is done. It's 5.15. We have to race to the curling rink because the girls are on the ice at 5.30. So um, we're going to do some hyperspace here in the light runner. Yeah, just like that. <laughs> Good news, people of the grid. I got permission from my buddy James to release the first half of the... Um, of the Tesla video and the second half is pretty much baked we just have one final shot that I want to add to the tail end it'll make it a little longer but you're really gonna like the second half the first half is pretty epic but that's standard Tesla driving he used the supercharger network and it was it was a kind of a comfortable Tesla drive the Wait, second part of the video is it the one with the thing <laughs> yeah. yeah the second half of the video um, Stay tuned. James loses it. Uh, it must be the cold, and it's pretty epic. You'll like it. Uh, you'll like it. Yeah, I think you will. So <laughs> we'll release that later tonight. I just got to get the girls to curling. I'll do some uh, work on the videos, and I'm excited to release that one too. So it's an amazing, uh, it's an amazing story. It really is, and um, it's just a testament to what is uh, possible with these cars and that's just with a little planning like there wasn't a whole lot of planning put in you know no more than probably 15 minutes tops but uh, what what was possible out of it is incredible to clean my phone I had some schmutz on it so it made it a little uh, blurry I won silver the silver rock. Extra small. How can it it's the pinnacle. It? Oh, that is pretty special. <laughs> the pinnacle rock. Back That's in, heavy. Back in for next. All right, here we are at the medical clinic. Yeah. Waiting your turn. Yes. And they're gonna fix you. That's good. Make you perfect. I'm not perfect already. You're this close. Hey, Amelia. I'm not a doctor, but I play one on Make TV. So we're just gonna check your No, 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 don't ears. touch it, don't touch it. Don't, How are you? No, don't touch that, don't touch that. Does that hurt? <laughs> yes. Does that hurt? The doctor's gonna walk in on you. Oh, the light's on. How do, you, how do you turn the light off? I think you just put it back. Hey, it's off, it's off, it's off. No. It's off. Don't touch that. <laughs> How about this? Does that hurt? Uh, yeah. Does that hurt? Yes. <laughs> uh, <laughs> All right. I think you have a sore head. Yeah, I do. Take uh, take two Tylenols. Call me in the morning. Okay? Okay. There's a nice peaceful giraffe. Does that make you feel calm? No. It's a giraffe. What do you think is in here? Dad. Stuff. Cool stuff. Dad. <laughs> so what do I do? You just ask it a question. Are, are you a Hatchimal? <laughs> Are you a Hatchimal? Are you a Hatchimal? Uh-huh. Did they get to you? Uh-huh. Are you a spy? Uh -huh. <laughs> I knew it. <laughs> Who do you work for? <laughs> you working for the Russians? Uh -huh. Are you working for the Americans? Uh, maybe. Are you working for oh, the Koreans? Wow. Wait, wait. You gotta go into it. Are you a spy? Oh, hey. Are you a spy? <laughs> Maybe. Uh -uh. <laughs> is Melissa annoying? <laughs> Maybe. Yeah, she is. <laughs> is Samantha annoying? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> is Ethan annoying? This is interesting. Just wait. This one is fun. You gotta tap it when it's red. Tap it when it's red. No, no, wait. Wait till it flashes red. No! <laughs> no! That's blue! It's green! Dad, what are you... Quiet! Quiet! No! 
That was fun. That was a lot of fun. Yes, Oh, is this your little Hatchimal? The best part of the Hatchimal, people of the grid, is this thing right here. The off button. Oh, people of the grid. So, I was born in the former Yugoslavia, now called Croatia. My grandma, she used to always buy these cookies. They would import them. This is what they are. <laughs> these ones? Nap Napolitanke from this company. Right there. Crush. They are awesome. <laughs> You're really annoying. You are annoying. <laughs> the hatch more even sets up. Crush. <laughs> All right, guys, it is uh, 20 to 9, and uh, I am just in the process of uploading the second half of the Epic Tesla video. I'm pretty excited about that one. It's awesome. Uh, my buddy James left Souk, BC, which is on Vancouver Island, traveled all the way over to Alberta, went straight up north, crossed the 60th parallel into the Northwest Territories, made it up to Hay River, Northwest Territories. A crazy uh, amount of distance um, into some pretty cold weather. The overnight temps that he ran into were around minus 32, minus 33, uh, and the cars parked outside. So uh, it's doing great, and he's going to be coming back home, I think, towards this weekend. It's a pretty impressive trip, a real testament to uh, the car that Tesla has built. It can go anywhere a regular car can. A little bit of a rough day. We went to uh, a friend's funeral. And you know, for me, the reminder every time I go to a funeral, whether it's somebody really, really close to me or somebody that's really, really close to a friend of ours, um, there's one message that I get loud and clear at every single funeral I go to. And that message is this. We are alive and we need to act that way. We need to live right now. We need to get doing what we want to do and start enjoying life. Time is too short to complain, to be negative, have more fun than uh, than not, and help other people have more fun than not. So that's my big message for the day. Um, live. That's it. Hope you guys had a good one. Live until tomorrow, and we'll catch up with you then. Miker. Oh.